Welcome back. Let's move to your weather now with the storm alert moderate on this early Saturday evening, bringing in forewarned meteorologist Danny McFarland. Lots to talk about with Hurricane Hillary moving closer and closer to making landfall. When do you think, Daniel, will be the best time to see rain in parts of our area? Well, I think it's going to be starting off within the next couple hours, but we're not going to see any of those big severe impacts until likely tomorrow from the look of it. So we're going to go ahead and check out one storm that we are tracking that could be moving into Tucson. It's starting up north of Sierra Vista. So if we get any rain tonight, this is going to be the one right here that we have moving into the city. Now the good news is it doesn't look like any kind of a major thunderstorm, but it is trying to build on up. As I mentioned before, the temperature hasn't really been all that warm today, but as you can see right here, sitting right around 20,000 feet or so, that's not likely to become a severe storm. And we saw way too much cloud cover out there for any kind of severe weather development as we get into the evening hours here and the temperatures are pretty low, but don't be surprised if heavy rain does move through the city. If that storm does continue to build on up, our better chance for severe weather isn't going to be this evening. Instead, it's going to be tomorrow, mainly between the hours of about one and eight o'clock. So if we do have any severe weather, I think the further west you go, the more likely you are to see it. So even though areas like Sierra Vista and Douglas are included in that marginal risk, I'm much more concerned about areas like Ajo and Luke not only because I do think that they are going to be seeing heavier thunderstorms, but also they are the ones that saw those severe storms yesterday. So flash flooding could very well be an issue for that portion of Pima County. Now this storm is continuing to die down as it makes its way past Cabo. Winds are now at 100 miles per hour, and the big reason why has a lot to do with the fact that the eye wall is basically closed up on itself. So since you don't see a very well-defined eye anymore in this area, that tells you that it's not expecting to strengthen. So this is going to be in the middle of the storm. Typically in a nice strong hurricane, you'd see a little bit of water in the middle. You just don't see it with it here. And a big reason why it's starting to falter a little bit has a lot to do with that California current coming down from Alaska through the areas like San Diego and Los Angeles. So those of you that know the area know how cold it is over with that water temperature, mid 60s. Look, compare this to what they were dealing with earlier as the storm was a category four. It was in the mid 80s. So you really want to have those warmer temperatures if you want to keep a stronger hurricane. But as this moves into cooler and cooler water, it's going to continue to break down. But I still think a big impact for us here is going to be heavier rain, especially as we get into later in Sunday, early in Monday. Eventually, it'll be passing us by very quickly, and the track has shifted towards the east very slightly. So what that means for our timing here as we get into tomorrow is that I think your first real good chance of rain will be moving into the later part of the morning. As I mentioned before, any kind of severe impact that's going to be saved for in between the hours of about one and eight o'clock. And once we're past eight, it looks to be just rain as we get into the early part of the day on Monday. And thankfully, the forecasted rain totals have backed off a little bit, but there could be a few isolated spots that see as much as a full inch of rain whenever we get into that time, along with some stronger winds, which is why we do have that wind advisory in effect, along with that flood warning. Now, Eric, we are looking at cooler temperatures still for the next few days, but a big reason why is that cloud cover and those rain chances. So I do have 98 for a high tomorrow. That's if we don't see the rain, but if we get that rain earlier, go ahead and expect a cooler day. Lots to watch for tonight Absolutely. and into tomorrow. You'll be tracking all of it. Thank you, Daniel, very much. We'll see you at 10 o'clock. It is time for